Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instruction on completing the task at hand. Visit my YouTube channel and watch my disclaimer video. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find the information you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm going to replace the rotor, front rotor, on a 1998 Chevrolet Prism. And uh, I'm also going to change the brake pads as well. Basically, all you have to do to replace a rotor on this vehicle is take the wheel uh, loose, jack the car up, put it on jack stands, uh, remove the wheel, remove the caliper mounting bolt, swing the caliper out of the way, and you should be able to lift the rotor right off and then uh, we put the replacement rotor on, uh, put the brake caliper back in place, Torque those uh, that caliper down, put the wheel back on, and lower the car back to the ground. These are the tools you need to remove and replace a rotor on this uh, Chevrolet Prism. I apologize, I do not uh, have a shop manual available, so I do not know the torque specifications for torquing the caliper bolts back on. So if somebody knows that information, then they'll be kind enough to make a remark or post it for me, I'll anchor those torque values in the about section of the text area for this video. Okay, the first thing you want to do is break the lug nuts loose, jack the car up, take the wheel off, make sure you put the vehicle on a jack stand. You should never ever get under a car that's not under a jack stand messing with suspension parts. You take the caliper off, the caliper has two bolts, one up here and one down lower. Okay, I got those two bolts loose from the mounting the caliper against the knuckle. Okay, I got the caliper off. All right, this is what a caliper should look like on this car. And this is what it does look like after they drove it and grinded it down with the bearing. I don't know how this car was moving. It also looked like it did some damage to the top of the strut where the wheel was rubbing the top of the strut. So this is about the worst example I've ever seen of somebody losing a bearing and kept on rolling. Okay, I put the two caliper bolts in, torqued them down to 60 foot pounds. I bled the brakes uh, with the car running, pumped three times hold, then release the pressure off of that uh, eight millimeter and keep doing that until you have no air coming out. I had help doing that. If you feel that this information was beneficial, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that I post. Visit my channel. I have all types of do-it-yourself videos there. You can leave questions here and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.